video we are going to create our first project where when a button is clicked a message will appear on the label so let's get started so first of all you need to click on create new and you need to give title of the project give a short objective what you are going to do so here when a button is clicked a message will be shown so description is optional and you can select image for the app logo from your pc so for example i'm showing how it will look like okay fine so now click on create button okay so this is the code area which you can see and in these are the horizontal and the vertical lines these are the code area okay and here is the app design when you can see the app design also and the code area also so you need to click both of them okay the first thing we are going to do is we will design the app so we need to add one button and one label so here you can see the options these are options for the designing part and these are options for the coding part okay now let's add one element that is button and here you need to name the element okay naming is very important for the element so let's name it as button 1 click on okay and this is personalization of the button 1 the appearance how it should look like okay it's up to you what you want to give the text inside the button okay so here yeah, I'm giving click me and I want as the button as the type 2 you can change the font increase the font size change the background color border color 2 and the font color you can also increase the height and the width and finally save this button by clicking on save so now you should drag and fix it properly now add one more element that is label and just name it as the label 1 and leave it empty as we want to show some message on this label keep the background color increase the width okay so drag this also here now we want to change the background of the app screen so click on personalize and you can also put the background image from your pc and from the image which are already in plasmo for an example we are selecting this one okay so this is the our app design now we need to do the coding part and here in plasmo we use visual programming language which means you need to drag and drop the code blocks so unlike text based coding here it's very easy to drag and drop the blocks so we have here two elements one is button and one is label so we will check the blocks of button element and the label element here you can see there are two categories of the elements one is control category control category means these are the options for the programming and app category means these are the elements of the app okay 
you can also check the elements of the app from here see all these are the elements of the app like text box slider image okay now we should proceed to the button so first we will drag the whenever block to the code area okay and we will move to the label block and we will drag this orange color block to whenever block so just try to understand the meaning of these blocks whenever button one is clicked do it is doing it is showing hello on label one if you don't want to show hello you can put your message okay okay and also here button one is already there but if you have more than one button or more than one label you will get the option to select which element you want to use which button you want to use okay for an example i'm adding one more button as button 2 okay like this one is the button 2 okay now see here the options are button 1 and button 2 okay we don't need this so we are putting this in dustbin okay so if you don't want any block you can also put this one inside the trash okay so our coding part is done if you want to see the code in text based mode so you can click on this angular brackets curly brackets sorry you can see the code in text okay and these are in python okay okay so now let's execute the project to execute the option is here the orange one start execution okay click on that and now i will click on the button click me see our project is successfully executed right now we need to stop our execution okay stop it okay so our coding plus designing part is done in the next video we will learn to add more elements such as text box image to the designing part and also we will learn the coding part okay now let's save this project when you will go back it, the project will automatically be saved and you can see your projects here and how to now create the web app or the android app check the options from here so here are the options edit so that means you can again edit make some changes to your app export to device means you can save this app in your computer in your pc it will get downloaded see here see so it is downloaded in the zip folder that means it is a compressed file okay so this is a backup of your project and if you want to upload your project to the dashboard plasmo dashboard you can do that okay by import project okay here is the option to import project that means you can upload your project from the computer itself the other options are duplicate means making a copy of the project right create android app android app means your apk link will be in email okay it will be sent in email from there you can open it okay and also web app so web app link can be also sent in the email that you have used to log in okay so we can check it So let's check the email link. Okay. So my email ID which I have used here. Okay. 
is the student MPS. Okay, so let's check the link for Android as well as web app link. So you can see web app is available for access. So this is the link for web app. So th you can run or open this link in any device from anywhere. Okay. Okay. And Android link is not there. So let's try again. Okay. For Android link, it will take some time to come in your email, okay? Okay, so this much. In the next video, we will learn more elements, okay? Thank you.